second part of the 7.2.6. I was not willing to make a second. No, I was willing to make a second part, but at the end, well, it's gonna be everything nice. What's my problem now? Couple of parts being washed, couple of parts came inside. We have healthy items and we have not healthy items. I have removed the seals from the oil pump here, from the transmission housing back there. The gaskets, the old one, it comes apart. And when it comes apart, it can clock the oil path because all this, it's on an oil gallery. All right, so I need to be replaced. Obviously, obviously. What's my biggest problem now? Let me show you what's my biggest problem. With the kit that I can purchase here in this country, locally, all right, I'm getting the clutch and the steel plates, but I'm not getting this plate. You see from the heat how it became? They will not gonna find for me this one. They will not gonna find for me this one. Or this one. Or this one for the K3 here. This is supposed to be fine. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah, this is the BR and it's, it's supposed to be okay. Yeah, this is fine. These are not suffering usually. So I need to go upstairs, start setting because I have 72.6 parts plenty. And I have to go to find the upper disc. Because this, it's not coming, like I said, it's not coming with the clutch kit. They're coming the seals, the seals here, the o-rings, but it's not coming the steel plate, the upper one. Splendid, let's spend one hour looking upstairs on this mess. It's not been in order. Yeah, I'm gonna upload this video when I'm gonna receive all the parts and I'm gonna be ready to start closing it to show you how it looks like. I, I don't get it how they have available the clutches and the seals and they don't have the steel plate the other one to purchase it to get the new one. Maybe they know that I have a used one upstairs that's why. <laughs> Moving on. After spending two hours after changing the safe some steel plates inside to in some drums I put an extra clutch inside, it will gonna help because a uh, four-wheel drive you can put in low okay, it doesn't have so much power, but again you can put in low I finalize with the clutches forget about that, I haven't touched yet let me show you the clutches outside all these things what you see here, it's been replaced all these things all right It looks worse if you come close to it. And to find the steel plates, the correct thickness, to give me a correct clearance, I'm gonna show you what I did. This is what I brought from upstairs. All right, forget the clutches. The clutches, since not been sinked, sink inside of the transmission fluid, these clutches are gone. It's not, no, also this is gone, yeah. All right. Uh, this is, some of them belong to us, some others from the owners that they never get it back. I don't know why, and I have to go through all these things, because if I didn't have these parts, I was going to say, ah, you know what, I don't have it, get a new one, find a new one. Then I went through all this, again, don't pay attention to the clutches, the clutches are gone, the steel plates I'm talking about, all right, this is the bottom spring, the safe, all this, here, fine, these are the new clutches, so they are 7.2.9, from here 7.2.6. I had it all together. This never gets soaked inside of the transmission fluid. These are healthy classes, are new. So I went through all this to fix correct clearance, to don't be tight, to don't be loose, to be in the middle a little bit tight. All right. For example, as an example, on the K2 uh, clutch, we have four friction uh, discs. It's supposed to be one to 1.3. This is given to me 1.1. I don't want to be tight, I don't want to be loose, but I want to be from the tight side. That's what I'm talking about. I haven't opened yet the pistons inside. I haven't changed the seals. All this time it was just only to make it perfect the clearance for the clutches in the drums. Yay! And 
Yeah, I haven't checked this one. I have to put it inside the transmission and check it at the end. I hope you don't give me a trouble on that. <laughs> That's the story. Morning glory. Let's go now with the seals and the drums. Splendid. Let's take take care about all this mess here. Outside I don't care. The guys are gonna take care. Me, I want to make some space here. And waiting the parts, I'm waiting the gasket and a couple of other stuff I haven't received yet. Yeah. Beautiful. I have changed the seals, the outer seal on the oil pump and the seal here. Done with the oil pump. Now I'm on the output shaft. Pay attention. I'm removing these seals. Okay. And I'm using this type of seals. Not this one. This goes away. Whoops. It's failing on the phone. Yep. This goes away and I'm using this type. Talking about this seal. Then, 72.6. The little bearing on the output shaft is like that. Outside it's like this. On the 72.9, it's like this. 72.9, 72.6. Guess what I'm doing? I'm removing the 0.6. Bye. And I'm putting the 0.9. It's not the first time, always I'm doing that. It, it's not suffering. One second to put in, I need both hands. There you go. It looks much better to my eyes at least. I want to see how many 72.6 bearings I'm going to have at the end. All right. Stuff like that, small stuff that makes the difference. This is just bringing out the, the rear wheel drive output shaft. This I have to check for the formatic. Let me put also this in. Why the important shit? All right, now it looks beautiful. One, two, three, four, five. Bearing the planetary gear for the K3. Perfect, beautiful, excellent, amazing. Output put soft, it's done. Oil pump, it's done. The needle bending here, it's beautiful. I already checked that. This I have to put it back. This goes back to the owner. I hope that somebody will gonna get his parts back all the time. I need to open now this to see the bearing inside. It's okay, it's logging because on the 7.6 it's one way. It goes, as you see it now, it goes counterclockwise. Clockwise cannot. It spins all together. On the 7.2.9 it spins both sides. I have mentioned also that before. I need to change the both o-rings there and this need to go out with the rest of the parts here you know what because it's a g-class what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put in nylon in inside of the box and then i'm gonna put inside of the car i'm not gonna even ask him the owner <laughs> take it you know <laughs> and the this one yeah this is 7.6 this is 7.9 yeah behind the curtain Today, today it's Friday, December 23rd, 2022. Finish with the clutches and the drums, finish with the solenoid valve housing, the solenoids, everything. Bell housing, they are standing by. Oaring seals, gaskets, everything has been replaced. This with a new nylon to step on it later on, not now. Uh, the transmission housing here, the rest parts here. New seal for the oil pan down, new seal on the oil pump. New seals here, new seals there, new seals everywhere. The output shaft, input shaft, pretty much complete. All right. Now, what's remaining? I'm not closing the transmission. The gasket. All right. That's why I have it here out. I'm still waiting since yesterday to, re to receive the metallic gasket. And I need also transmission filter, but this, they can install the guys later. All these parts, Forget the piston connection from M57 yesterday. All these parts are the parts that I have replaced from this transmission. So, waiting for the metallic gasket to put it on and finish. And that's it, pretty much for the transmission. Don't be confused with these two. This is from the Formatic, this is a different one. All right.
That's it. Let me smoke my cigarette and moving on. I have to go to check one E63 formatic right now. Once again. Yep. Thank you.